All right, man, peace. So, brothers, this is going to be volume three in the series that I recently started called Never Doubt Yourself. And this entry will be featuring Mr. Kawhi Leonard, Mr. Kyle Lowry of the world champion Toronto Raptors. And as I've always stated on this channel, sports is really usable as a teaching tool because it does exhibit many of the components of life, whether it be how you respond or how you react to adversity, whether you're going to grow as a person, as an athlete, or whether you're going to fold. And I will say this, I have been very critical of Mr. Kyle Lowry, and I'll be devoting a video just about him as an individual, but I am going to cover him as well in this video because he's going to be sitting down in tandem with Mr. Kawhi Leonard as they respond to questions from Miss Rachel Nichols. And I have to say that it's always a great thing to see someone who's able to overcome trials, tribulations, and travail to conquer because it makes you a better person. So anyway, they're going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. There's a new How does it feel? Words cannot even explain, really. I ain't gonna lie, that's the truth. Like, it's just so surreal to me still right now. You know, our season was so up uh, behind the scenes. The journey. Man, the <laughs> journey. Journey, journey, like. journey as well. I wonder what was going on behind the scenes. Kawhi Leonard said that their season was so up and down behind the scenes. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure that there was some doubt that crept in, especially in certain moments of the, the Eastern Conference semifinals as well as the Eastern Conference finals. Remember, they were down two games to one against the Philadelphia 76ers. They were down two games to nothing against the Milwaukee Bucks. So I'm sure that there was some doubt that crept in. And that's why it's great to have a leader of the caliber of a Kawhi Leonard with his, his mental outlook. He never folds. He never wavers. So when his teammates see that, that allows them to maintain their composure. For Kyle Lowry, and I'll be covering this in the video on him. Even though he was very crestfallen when they traded away his friend DeMar DeRozan. Sometimes there are people that are just better for you. There may have been a girl that you felt madly in love with who was the wrong person for you to have your emotions associated with or to have an affinity for in that manner or to that degree. And then you might meet another woman who, you, who you're nowhere near as head over heels for but who's just a better person for you. And that's kind of sort of the dynamic between Kyle Lowry and Kawhi Leonard of course their teammates in basketball but at the end of the day there are certain players who are superstars and then there are other players who are just stars DeMar DeRozan is just a star Kawhi Leonard is a superstar Kawhi what have the last two years taught you changed you to get from there to here oh man just always trusting yourself absolutely brothers you heard that never doubt yourself ever never doubt yourself and what you'll find in life is that many times when you're going through periods where you might be quote unquote depressed or doubting yourself is normally because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing with your life. When I say that, I mean, have a focus, have a goal, have an end game, and then try to actionize it. And don't let people try to dissuade you from your focus and from your goal, because that is what many people will do because they're depressed that they were never focused or goal oriented. What I learned, you know, things go bad there's only so many people that's going to be on your, on your side absolutely that's why that's the best time period of your life when you go through adversity and tribulation because it shows you exactly who people are who they are around you a lot of people are just here to to laugh and giggle and smile and joke around with you and to try to see what spoils they can they can reap from you but as soon as you go through a certain period of negativity they're nowhere to be found and on top of that they're trying to compound the problems that are going on in your life by speaking poorly about you because they were probably jealous of you the entire time so you always have to be vigilant of who's around you a lot of people questioning you what did you hear about yourself oh uh, just the normal uh <laughs> rachel nichols said there were a lot of people questioning you <laughs> what were you hearing he said just the normal in other words the normal bullshit see Kawhi Leonard is one of those individuals who never allows himself to become too enamored with the with the positive rhetoric that is directed towards him or sent his way because he knows that if you give people the power to make you feel great about yourself you're also giving them the power to make you feel bad about yourself whenever they want to so you have to take everything you know with a grain of salt as they say right or text Kyle once I got traded told him uh, you know let's like make something special happen you know I know you're down right now but you know uh, it probably didn't work out for both of us but 
we got a chance to do something special. <laughs> Kawhi said it probably didn't work out for the both of us. In other words, I was trying to get traded to L.A. So if you think you're mad about this shit, I'm just as mad. But let's come together. We have talent as a squad. Let's see what we can do. And, you know, honestly, I hope that Kawhi Leonard stays in Toronto. He obviously has a lot of options, but I would like to see him stay in Toronto because I think that it will provide the NBA with some with some power balance. I personally would not want to see him go back to the Western Conference because I don't want too many superstars in one conference. It should be equally balanced, at least as much as possible. Me, as a viewer, that's what I would want to see, that there are two superstars in the Western Conference, maybe two in the Eastern Conference, something like that, and stars equally distributed. I think that that's better for the league. Now, what we find is that, for the most part, when stars are free agents or superstars are free agents, they tend to move out west for whatever reason. Maybe it's the weather, maybe it's the overall ambiance, or what have you. But I think that it would be very good for the NBA if Kawhi stays in Toronto. And I think that it would be best for him as well. I think that his personality suits the city. Toronto is the only city that's outside of the United States, at least NBA city. And Kawhi is, is someone who's rather disparate or separate from most of the other NBA stars. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Look at you. That's crazy. We what did, did you think on the other end of that text? I mean, at the end of the day, I was getting one of the best players in the NBA. And now, you know, me and him are friends, and, you know, we have a relationship. And um... Notice this season, there were no games where Kyle Lowry had mental breakdowns. You know why? Because the leader never had a mental breakdown. DeMar DeRozan had to go. It's bigger than basketball. You know, and, and that's the one thing we all, this year, we trusted him in the game. You didn't have an option. What option did you have but to trust him? He didn't play and the low management stuff and no one ever questioned it. But he did everything that he was supposed to do to make sure that we got to this point as a group. And, um, you know, we, I told him day one, this is team, he the man. And it's been a great journey. That's great to see because hopefully what Kawhi was able to establish to other NBA players is that you don't have to compromise yourself. You don't have to compromise your body and your physical future for the sake of satiating a franchise, an organization, a fan base, or your teammates who 99 times out of 100 are only thinking about what they want to get from you as opposed to what your future is going to be. This finals really did feel like a war of attrition. There's been so much attention on Golden State's injuries. You guys have been playing through injuries. Kyle sat down. Yeah, but it's, there's no comparison. Yes, they're playing through injuries, but the Golden State injuries are season ending. Interview and told me he still can't feel his thumb because they have to shoot it up so much just to get him on the court. He said maybe it'll be 2 a.m. before yeah, he can feel his thumb. Right? You and I talked the other day about all the work you had to do just to get onto the court. What was the drive to get you guys to get through the bumps and bruises? We came too close to turn around, you know. Um, you know, I just felt like that was everybody's mindset. Are you feeling any pain right now? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Kawhi laugh came out. He said, I am. <laughs> uh, Kawhi laughed like a donkey that's giving birth. <laughs> for you considering all of the years of playoffs where you did not hit those big shots all the time what does it mean to have done it on this stage to have come through and to have that trophy um the words can't explain it to be honest but um the feelings of just success the adversity the ups and downs it's what you work for Oh my God! Oh my God! That's what it's crazy. crazy feeling. That's what it's about, baby. Right? Yes. Word. Word. They go. Bill Russell look like the Most High. <laughs> Oh boy, once again, Bill Russell is probably the most underrated player in the history of the NBA. It's between him, Moses Malone, and Tim Duncan, probably. You've already got a title from when you were younger. You had to go through so much more to earn this one. How does it feel different? It feels great. Uh, <laughs> so I played uh, nine games last year. But, uh, just to come back and win the NBA Finals is amazing. Things happen for a reason. Things yes, they do. People. 
we're here now sitting here talking about the finals. Let me rewind this back a little bit because I like what Kawhi is saying here. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's what it's about, baby, right? Yes. Word. Word. We've already got a title from when you were younger. You had to go through so much more to earn this one. How does it feel different? It feels great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I played uh, nine games last year. But just to come back and win the NBA Finals is amazing. Things happen for a reason. Things happen to good people. And we're here now sitting here talking about the Finals. It's less than an hour since you guys walked off the floor. I've already counted three times that people have asked you what you think you're going to do this summer for free agency. I'm sure it's been more than that. How are you going to start the process of figuring out what you want to do next? Another attempt to ask Kawhi Leonard a question that you know damn well that he's not going to answer. Just so that you can go back to the studio and claim that Kawhi is so robotic and it's so difficult to quote unquote read him. Just because he's not as transparent as they want him to be. Really it's just another manifestation of the attack on the quote unquote introvert. Especially the quote unquote introverted man. Particularly the introverted black man. If you're, if you're introverted and you're a so-called black man, they're going to try to claim that you're a sadistic in some way. Oh, leave him alone. He's crazy. <laughs> Celebrate a little bit. And, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know right now. Let me just take it day by day. What is this moment? I'm in the moment. I'm in the moment. I'm not thinking about it right now. No. I'm a raptor for right now. And, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Do you plan to talk to him through this, sort of pitch your case about why you might want him to stay? After the day, they don't want me here no more. <laughs> <laughs> they got what they got. Yeah, they got what they got. I've never. Kyle was about to say, that's some bullshit. You know we want your ass back. <laughs> At the parade, he was the one leading the cheers. Five more years. 